Hello students, welcome you all once again on behalf of Resonance and today this tariq ki evening shift ki memory based paper dekh rahe Let us see the first question given in this. The maximum number of electrons in n equal to 4 shell is. So, in n equal to 4 number of maximum number of electrons can be calculated by using 2 n square formula n value is 4 it can be equal to 2 into 16 32. So, answer 32 electrons. Next second question this is from S block which of the following metal chloride is more soluble in organic solvents. In organic solvents nonpolar solvent so covalent compounds are more soluble in nonpolar solvents here in the given compounds beryllium chloride is the covalent compound. So, it can soluble in organic solvents. So, the answer is beryllium. The correct order of bond strengths of the following compounds is, is mein aapko diya hai 16th group ke hydrides, is mein from top to bottom as the atomic size increases bond length increases and bond strength decreases. So, the correct order of bond strength is hydrogen telluride bond strength is less than that of hydrogen selenide and hydrogen sulphide and water. So, the correct order is 1. The volume strength of sample of hydrogen peroxide is given as 50 and the molarity of the sample is volume strength and molarity are related as volume strength means hydrogen peroxide decompose okay water or oxygen produce correct. If you are taking 1 liter of hydrogen peroxide on decomposition if it gives 11.2 liters then the strength of hydrogen peroxide is said to be the 11.2 volume strength hydrogen peroxide. If it gives 10 liter oxygen then hydrogen peroxide is said to be the 10 volume strength hydrogen peroxide. And here it is given 50 volume strength is ka meaning a 1 liter hydrogen peroxide say 50 liter oxygen will dry. Okay? Ab isme aamko ye calculate karna hai molarity of hydrogen peroxide and molarity and volume strength are related like this. From this formula you are calculating molarity of hydrogen peroxide you will get 4.46 molar. <coughs> this is from chemical equilibrium. See the equation given 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3 delta H is minus 190 kilojoule per mole it is exothermic reaction and here increasing SO2, increasing pressure, increasing temperature, adding catalyst, increasing oxygen these are the factors given. Now, for the forward reaction how many factors are responsible? So, in the given one which factors are responsible for the forward reaction? Let us see, first one on increasing SO2, yes it will forward the reaction and increasing the concentration of SO2, the concentration of SO2 increase karne se forward reaction hoga. Or similarly increasing O2 also makes this reaction forward. Or in, is mein increasing pressure, pressure increase karne se, is taraf dekh lo yaha 3 mole hai, is taraf 2 mole hai. Pressure increase करने से lesser number of mole side reaction चलेगा तो इसलिए forward reaction होगा और ये reaction exothermic reaction है exothermic reactions में temperature increase करने से reaction backward shift होगा तो इसलिए यहाँ increasing temperature नहीं होगा और adding catalyst catalyst add करने से rate of reaction increase होगा that means equilibrium jaldi 
अटेन करेगा फॉरवर्ड और बैकवर्ड रिएक्शन दोनों इक्वल रेट से चलेगा सो द सुटेबल आंसर फॉर द फ्रॉम द गिवन ऑप्शन इज ए बी एंड ई दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री डायरेक्ट सब्सटीट्यूशन करने का है दैट इज फ्रॉम नर्नेस्ट इक्वेशन अप्लीकेशन फॉर ए गिवेन सेल एक्स टू एक्स प्लस टू एंड वाई प्लस टू टू वाई एट टू नाइनटी एट किलविन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन आर गिवेन एंड इलेक्ट्रोल पोटेंशियल्स आर ऑल्सो गिवेन एंड इट इज गिवेन टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री आर टी बाई एफ इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स एंड ई सेल इज गिवेन एज टी फाइंड फाइव टी सो इसमें नर्नेस्ट इक्वेशन में हम ये डेटा सब्सटीट्यूट कर सकते हैं सो so, एनोड के पास एक्स ऑक्सीडाइज हो रहा है कैथोड के पास वाई प्लस टू रेड्यूस हो गया नाउ ई नाट सेल इज ई नाट ऑफ कैथोड माइनस ई नाट ऑफ एनोड सो ये सब्सटीट्यूट करने से 1.1 पॉइंट वन वोल्ट आ गया नाउ ई सेल इक्वल टू ई नाट सेल माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स बाई टू लॉग वाई प्लस टू एक्स प्लस टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अपॉन y plus 2 concentration if you are putting these data you are getting 1 0 13 volt and this 5 e cell equal to 5 se multiply kar rahe hain so ye 1.013 volt isko 5 se multiply kar rahe hain so it will be 5.65 round off karne se 6 aayega next one <coughs> which of the following equation is correct ये सुबह वाले सेशन में भी आ गया इसमें लिथियम नाइट्रेट ऑन हीटिंग क्या प्रोडक्ट बनेगा इसमें लिथियम नाइट्रेट ऑन हीटिंग इट इज गिविंग लिथियम ऑक्साइड नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड एंड ऑक्सीजन और ये डायमराइज होके एन टू ओ फोर भी बन सकता है तो इसमें गिवन रिएक्शंस में लिथियम ऑक्साइड एन टू ओ फोर एंड ओ टू ये गिवेन है और एल आई एन ओ थ्री से एन ओ टू एंड ओ टू ये भी बन रहा है सो so, इसमें ये एंड सी दोनों सही ऑप्शन सी है नेक्स्ट इन फ्रेंडलिश आइसोथर्म स्लोप इज 45 फाइव डिग्रीज द इंटरसेप्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो टू जीरो प्रेशर इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर ए टी एम फाइंड द एक्सटेंट ऑफ एड्सॉर्बन पर ग्राम ऑफ एड्सॉर्बेंट ये फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्किंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सरफेस केमिस्ट्री सो फ्रॉम फ्रेंडलिश एसो एड्सॉर्बन एसो थम एक्स बाई एम इक्वल टू के इन टू पी पावर वन बाई एन यदि आप लॉग लिया तो दोनों साइड लॉग एक्स बाई एम इक्वल टू लॉग के प्लस वन बाई एन लॉग पी लॉग एक्स बाई एम वर्सेज लॉग पी ग्राफ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इट इज ए स्ट्राइट लाइन विथ पॉजिटिव स्लोप स्लोप इज वन बाई एन Now this slope is equal to 1045. That equal to one. So one by n value is equal to one. Now the y-intercept is also given log k. That is 0.6020. From this k equal to four. Now if you put the data, you will get x by m value is 1.6. <coughs> It is from kinetics. The time taken for 60% decomposition is 540 seconds. Then time taken for 90% completion of first order reaction is. इसमें 60% completion करने के लिए time दिया है. इससे हम k value calculate कर सकते हैं. T equal to 1 by k ln c naught by c t. It is the first order rate integrated rate equation. इसमें time दिया है 540. इससे हम k कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन 100 सी टी इज फोर्टी हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स दैट इज हंड्रेड माइनस सिक्सटी दैट इक्वल टू फोर्टी फ्रॉम दिस यू आर गेटिंग टी इक्वल टू वन बाई के इन टू एल एन हंड्रेड बाई फोर्टी ही आर टी मीन्स फाइव फोर्टी एंड के फाइंड करेंगे नाउ फॉर नाइन्टी परसेंट फॉर नाइन्टी परसेंट इट इज 540 फोर्टी बाई टी हियर फॉर नाइन्टी परसेंट कैलकुलेशन कर रहे हैं अपन नाइन्टी परसेंट के लिए फॉर नाइन्टी परसेंट रिएक्शन वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग इट इज हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड माइनस नाइन्टी सो इट कैन बी इक्वल टू टेन नाउ 
this is the first equation, this is second equation. From this, we are calculating T and we are getting 1350 seconds. This is from solution colgative properties. Lead storage battery have 38 percent weight by weight H2SO4. Find the temperature at which the liquid of battery will freeze. So, this may I value be there kai, Kf be there kai. Ab is may delta Tf equal to I into Kf into M. So, this may weight of H2SO4 is 38 grams. So, weight of water can be 100 minus 38, 62 gram. Now, molality equal to 38 into 1000 by 98 into 62. That is 98 is molecular mass of H2SO4, 62 is weight of water. Now, delta Tf equal to I into Kf into molality. Now, I value is 2.67, Kf value is 1.86, molality is 6.254. Now, this on calculation you are getting 31. Now, freezing point of liquid will be equal to 0 minus 31. So, it will be equal to 31 degree Celsius because water freezing point is 0 degree Celsius. <coughs> this is the question from coordination compounds. The Cl CO Cl bond angle in the complex CO Cl 3 NH 3 thrice is. This complex can exist in two isomers that is FAC isomer and MER isomer. In the FAC isomer, if you observe this is the angle of 90 degrees and in the MER isomer, this is 180 degrees angle. So, there is possibility of two angles 90 degrees and 180 degrees. This is also from complex compounds. Here we have to match the hybridization for the given complexes. In this nickel tetracarbonyl, in the nickel tetracarbonyl, the hybridization is sp3. Nickel tetracyanide, it is dsp2 hybridization because strong field ligand with coordination number 4, it is dsp2 hybridization. And copper complex, it is octahedral complex and it is in presence of weak field ligand with D9 configuration, 3D9 configuration. So, it is sp3 D2 hybridization and FeCN6 4 minus Cn minus is the strong field ligand, iron is in plus 2 state that is 3D6 configuration in presence of strong field ligand, it is D2 sp3 hybridized. Next, this is the question from qualitative analysis. Nestless reagent is, this is the reagent used to identify the ammonium ion. That means, for the confirmation of ammonium ion, this Nestler's reagent is used. When you add this Nestler's reagent, you will get the brown colored precipitate. Here, the Nestler's reagent is nothing but alkaline K2 HgI4 potassium mercury iodide this is said to be the Nestler's reagent. Next, this is from Develock elements. Potassium permanganate oxidize I minus in acidic and neutral medium to which forms respectively are formed. That means, when it is oxidized I minus, then which are the products formed. So, in acidic medium, I minus is oxidized to I2 and in neutral or faintly alkaline medium, I minus A is oxidized to IO3 minus. So, answer is I2 and IO3 minus. <coughs> Boric acid is present in solid state, while BF3 is a gas at room temperature, then which of the following statements are correct? So, here given statements regarding these two statements given sentence is boric acid H3BO3, hydrogen bonding is present in boric acid. In solid state, there is hydrogen bonding. Yes, correct. Boric acid has more molecular mass as compared to BF3. Yes, it is also correct. Next, BF3 is 
polymeric in nature no it is not a polymer bf3 is easily reacts with ammonia yes it can easily react because we, ammonia can donate its lone pair to the bf3 and forms the additional compound it is giving it is donating the lone pair to bf3 and forms additional compound and this is said to be the adduct ammonia boron trifluoride adduct addition compound and in this it can easily react with ammonia so which statements are correct a b and d okay students thank you